Now these are the kind of guns we're talking about. They're only 25 pounds. Okay, let's get to work. What's up guys, welcome back. All right, so we're back at it again, middle of a desert. We're gonna shoot these weight plates for a workout. I couldn't find the 45 pound ones. Uh, the only thing I could find uh, in the last minute was the 25 pound one. So I got two of them. It's about, I don't know, like an inch and a half thick. We're gonna see if the 50 caliber can go through them. I got tired working out. <laughs> Cause you know, as you guys can tell, I work out a lot. <laughs> I can't talk. Let me catch my breath. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna shoot them with the nine millimeter first just to see what we get. And we are using the RN50. I've talked about this before. Made by Serbu Firearms is a break action. You pretty much break it open like that from the bottom. It's got a breech, you open it, you load, and you're ready to fire. Okay, so first we're gonna shoot the nine millimeter using a Glock 19. All right, here we go. Clear. So I wasn't really aiming, but I managed to hit the corner. I'm gonna go back and shoot it one more time, try to aim better this time. So um, that's all that happened, really didn't do much. Just wanna show you guys the difference between the nine millimeter and the 50 caliber. Major difference, so there's no comparison of course, it's just more for fun. But I thought I'd show you guys so you guys can see. Round two on the nine millimeter. I'm still trying to catch my breath from all that workout. All right, here we go. Again, I hit it towards the edge, but nothing is going on. The edge is kind of probably the uh, softer area, the skinnier area, and it's not breaking it. It didn't uh, make any dent inside. Okay, so pretty much it just hit the weight and nothing happened. It just made a little marking, that's about it. I think I'm gonna remove one of these 25 pounds. I wanna give the bullet a chance to go through. I tilted it back like that, so in case there is a ricochet, it's not gonna come back at me, it's gonna go back up. All right? And we're gonna be using these uh, 660 grain uh, full metal jackets. That's buddy, you ready? Ready. You gotta say send. What? Say send. Send? Yeah. If you have never shot a 50 caliber, I definitely encourage you to do so. Hold on, let me always clear your weapon. Even though this is a single shot rifle, so clear just to be sure, okay? We'll come back for that later. Okay, so, is it hot? Kind of. It cracked, that's the backside. It took a chunk out of it but my aiming wasn't uh, super good so I'm gonna actually redo it. I'm gonna hit it more center. Not sure what happened here but pretty much it took a whole chunk out. It cracked the handle thing here on the, on the edge but that's about it. There's a little bit of that uh, copper jacket on top. So let me turn it around this way. Oh it even messed up the cinder block. Okay we're gonna go round two. Okay round two! No, that was a good shot. All right, that was a perfect center shot. This time I took my time uh, sending the bullet over. So it went straight in the middle where I was aiming at. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it. You see the jacket embedded into this. Uh, what is this stuff? It's not really metal. It's all sparkly inside. If anyone knows what this stuff is made out of, let me know. Some sort of a uh, iron with other material. Not really sure. I don't know if it's focusing over there so where you can see it, but anyway, so it broke it all off. No sign of the bullet. Uh that's it. We got these two little pieces. Oh, here's another piece. How does this go together? Like this? Okay, there you have it. That's what it was. It went right through it. I know what you guys are saying. Well, why don't you put two of them back to back now? Okay, 
We'll put two of them. Let's see what happens. Yeah, perfect. All right. If I aim it right there, we should be good. Let's shoot it. All right, round three. Hey, you feel something here? Hit me here. <laughs> something did fly back. What was that? I don't know. Something hit. <laughs> Cabron. All right, let's go check, see what happened. Oh, man. The bullet. Oh, we got the bullet. How cool. Oh, this, it can't get any better than this. Okay, check this out. Get closer. It cracked it, but it didn't uh, make it to where it falls apart. That was the entry. You, you can see the copper on the entrance and there's the exit. It chipped off a huge part of it. So that was that. And then I haven't touched this, but check this out. There's part of the jacket over here. That was hot. That was really hot. I don't think it's, I've ever gotten it this hot before. Ah, it really burned me bad. <laughs> Why don't you wear gloves? What's wrong with you? It's all Mark Serbu's fault. <laughs> ah. While that's cooling off a little bit, Let's see what happened. Let's, it burned me good, Jasper. Ouch. Okay, let's see what happened here. Okay, it, it, the bullet was here, stuck over here somewhere. Over here. I think it got stuck right over here. This is part of that weight and that part is hot too. So that one? A part of this one here. Well, it looks like it landed right over here, but it didn't damage the second one. So the second one stopped it. Let's see if this thing has cooled down. Nope, still very hot. Do I have gloves? I don't. Anyway, guys, there it is. I'm not gonna grab it. It's still super, super hot. This is probably the hottest it's ever been. So Mark Serbu, since you love commenting on uh, my uh, burning finger stuff, this will be a perfect one. You better come with a good one. It's actually really, really hot. I can't even like hold it, not even a few seconds. But there it is. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.